What's up guys, this is Noah here and today I'm going to show you how to use your iTouch as a keyboard and mouse for your Mac and Windows computer. So what you want to do is you want to go on your iTouch and then you go first on App Store and search Hippo Remote and it should appear and then download it. It takes around a minute. Okay, then once you've downloaded it, you can see that we have it. Okay, but now we don't want to activate it yet. First you have to download something for a computer. So what you want to do next is go back onto your computer and then click your web browser and type in Hippo Connect and click the link and I'll have a link for my description too and download it click OK and extract it to your downloads then go to finder and open it up and now you want to set a password and then you want to go back onto your iTouch and then click Hippo Light oh it's already connected but whatever just a little bit disconnect Okay, so then you click connect and click add connection and click hippo connect and type in your IP address which wait, it's not going. type in your IP address which can be found by on a Mac by going to system preferences and going to network and clicking Wi-Fi or whatever you're connected by and it should be right here and then so you type it in 2.168.1.2.5 then you type in the password that you set and then you click done and now you have it so this is a pretty cool app so you just move around this little this little bottom key right here can be used to, to scroll through stuff there's really no point in it right now but okay. now you can like click and I'm controlling this whole thing with my eye touch right now and if you want to type in something and click trackpad plus keyboard uh, and then type in what you want click return and that will enter it for you and yeah and if you want to want to enter I mean if you want to like change what happens when you use three fingers you can click settings you can scroll down to more trackpad options and click that and choose what you want to happen when you pinch or unpinch and I've really defined anything yet 
but that's what happens. And you can go back, and it's a pretty cool app. I think it's really useful for when you don't feel like getting out of bed and your Mac's right next to you. So you can just use your iTouch to control your Mac. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, any questions and comments would be appreciated. Uh, see you later.